Welcome back to Guitar Science. Today we're going to assemble the body. There are a few annoying issues along the way, but we're going to take care of them. Okay, another critical moment for any string through guitar. The string ferrules, do they fit? Over the truth, uh-oh, I don't think they fit. They do not fit. Well, what a bummer. This is a green Telecaster that I put together a while ago when I really had no idea what I was doing. It's got a made in Mexico neck, it's got two DiMarzio humbuckers, but most importantly, it's got an XGP body, so hopefully it has the same size string ferrules. So apparently, I actually don't own any string ferrules that fit, and this XGP body has different string ferrule holes than the other XGP body. So, guess we're going to have to fix that somehow. Here's my drill that I'm going to use to uh, drill the bridge holes, among other things. And uh, I decided that I would just put a little duct tape around my smallest drill bit, and then uh, have some sandpaper stuck to that. So I kind of have like a, a really uh, bootleg drum sander, a very small diameter. So, uh, this actually works fairly well. Uh, again, this is probably not good for the tool, but you just do this. Well, as you can see, this is kind of a labor-intensive process. I'm sure there's a better solution out there somewhere, but you know what? I started doing this, and it worked, and I stuck with it. So, as you can see, they are not totally flush, and I absolutely scratched the crap out of the hole around that one, but they are pretty darn close. If you look at it from an overhead view, it looks fine. Alignment's perfect. So I don't really care that they're not entirely flush. Um, you know, I think you'll notice that for a whopping uh, eight seconds every time you switch the strings. So there's always something that I forget when I'm making a guitar. This time I forgot the neck plate. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to kill this here guitar and steal its neck plate. This is a parts caster that I built about a year and a half ago, and it plays great, but doesn't sound so good. It's got uh, DiMarzio noiseless pickups in it, and I don't really like noiseless pickups. So I'm gonna sell the body, keep the neck, and uh, well, steal the neck plate. So now you can see the hip shots. These are idiot-proof. They're so easy to install. They have a plate, there's no screws required. The hardest thing is making sure that they're in a straight line. It's great, they keep tuned perfectly, I love them. But now what you're gonna see is that I have no idea what I'm doing here. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna install the, the bridge by screwing the holes for the bridge. And uh, I don't know, I'm looking around with the drill, I'm, what I'm not doing is measuring. So unfortunately, I didn't get this on camera, but uh, what I eventually did after a while of thinking about it was I measured from the middle of the 12th fret to where the string breaks in the saddle, and I made sure that that was half of my total scale length. And I did that on the low E side, and I did it on the high E side, and I taped the bridge there, and I drilled the holes in that spot. Hopefully that works and I can intonate the guitar. Now there is another problem with this guitar. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from here, but perhaps you can notice that there is no spot for the ground wire to go to the bridge. So we need to ground the bridge somehow. Uh, this is, you know, kind of the thing you might expect on a super cheap bargain body, not routing out for the ground wire. This is the pain. It leaves us with three options. Option number one is totally unacceptable, and that's to not ground the bridge of the guitar. Uh, if you don't ground to the bridge, your guitar is basically a giant antenna, and anytime you plug it in, you're gonna get an annoying hum. And I'm not talking about your normal hum that goes away when you start playing. I'm talking about an ever-present, annoying 60-cycle hum that you cannot get rid of because you're holding a giant antenna. So. We do not want that. That option is unacceptable. Option two is I could take some of that copper tape and I could kind of make a channel of copper tape from here 
underneath to the bridge. Now you're gonna see that. Uh, it's not gonna look so bad on this guitar, but you know, it would be very visible. And option number three, which is what I think I'm gonna opt for, is uh, we're just gonna take a wire and we're gonna strip that wire down, you know, the last few inches of the wire. And then we're gonna just have the bare wire running under the bottom of the pick guard under the bottom of the bridge. So you'll see it, but it'll just be a thin spindle of wire and it'll only be about this long. Okay, so I had to remove the saddles in order to screw in the bridge, but you can see that the ground wire is tucked under there. Uh, it doesn't look great, but you know, it'll suffice for now. Okay, so now for the wire. We made it easier on ourselves. Uh, this pick guard was 200 bucks with the pickups in it, and the pickups by themselves are also $200. So that was a no-brainer. Seems like a lot of money for a set of pickups, but the reality is, unfortunately, pickups are expensive. So someday soon, I'll be making my own pickups. I won't have to deal with this anymore. But we only have to wire three things today because the rest of it's all done for us. So thankfully, we're not gonna be inhaling a lot of lead cider fumes. We're only gonna spend a few minutes feeling like we need a third hand, uh, and we're not gonna have to squint and stare at tiny little things for very long. So here's what we gotta do. We gotta wire ground from this pot to the output jack ground. We got our wire ground from this pot to the bridge, as we said a minute ago. And then we have to wire hot from this lug to the output jack. And uh, then we're good to go. So not a whole lot of wiring. Okay, why are we looking at my soldering iron? Well, I figured out the secret to good soldering is having a good soldering iron. I used to have the little pen type. It was a crappy tiny one. It was terrible and I hated soldering and then I got this and it's a breeze. So enjoy the soldering montage. Everything's all wired up and put together. I'm just testing the pickups to make sure that they work because it would be a total bummer if I put everything together and then had to go back in. So might as well test them now. So that about does it for the body. It's all set. Next time we'll take a look at the neck and that's going to have its own set of problems.